Luckily, all our customers were familiar faces this time around, so we didn't get any strange requests. Otherwise, today would have been even more challenging. No strange request? Someone asked for almond tofu drizzled in soy sauce. Even Paimon has never tried that combination. <laughs> it's a wide world out there. People have all kinds of different tastes. Being able to cater to all is the real essence of Liyue cuisine. Also, the thing about requests is that they're usually very specific. So as long as you do what they asked, you're unlikely to have any issues. What's really tricky is when guests give you free reign to do anything you want. Uh, excuse me. Are you still open by any chance? Huh? Paimon knows that voice. <gasps> Let's go check it out! Uh, what should we do? It doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, if only we'd gotten here a bit sooner. It's alright. If we start building a campfire now, we'll be eating before too long. Right. Besides, if anyone's to blame, it's Linny. So busy being a greedy culture vulture that he lost track of time. Linny, Lynette, Fremenae, it is you! Paimon? So, is the Traveler here? Traveler, Paimon! What a nice surprise! Paimon was gonna say the same thing! We're just lending a helping hand at the inn. Anyway, so that's how we ended up here. But what about you guys? Don't tell us. Uh, father sent you on another mission? No, quite the opposite, actually. We're in Liyue on vacation, and while we're here, I thought a cultural tour might be in order. Uh, uh, father said we deserve some rest after everything that happened recently. Otherwise, it could jeopardize our next mission. It's not every day we get this kind of opportunity. Lenny thought it might be fun to spend some time in Liyue, especially since it's lantern right season. We could hardly pass up the opportunity to watch a Liyue-style magic show. Although, I think they call it conjuring here. Uh, in our time here, we've seen conjuring tricks incorporated into a Liyue opera show, and even a wushu dance. It was amazing. So, we decided to stay here for a few more days to see what other forms of inspiration this land might have in store for us. We visited Granny Roshin in Chingsa Village not long ago, and today we continued our cultural tour in the area around here. In the end, though, we lost track of time. We haven't even eaten anything yet. <laughs> and speaking of eating... As you know, seafood is a big part of both Liyue and Fontaine cuisine, but it's cooked very differently here. We simply had to try some local seafood after coming all this way. That's another reason why we decided to extend our trip. Oh, need any recommendations? What have you tried so far? That fish one with the misleading name. Sounds bland, but it's drowning in hot chilies. Oh, you mean black back perch soup? You're right, the name doesn't give much away. <laughs> it looked and smelled so appetizing that Lynette took a huge mouthful, blissfully unaware that she was about to set her mouth on fire. She could barely speak for the rest of the day after that. Uh, luckily, that wasn't a huge adjustment for her. <laughs> What? Aren't you guys hungry too? Uh, yes, a little. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm ready to eat. Traveler, I'm afraid we'll have to send you back to the kitchen now. Hmm, good question. 
I doubt we'll be able to decipher the menu, so why don't you recommend something? You should be pretty familiar with our tastes. Uh, one more thing. Please, if you have a heart, don't make it spicy. Sorry for the wait. This dish is called the Palace Jewels. Enjoy! Hmm... Um... Ah, yes. We meant to say, you two must be tired after a long day of work. Do you want to eat with us? Oh. Now that you mention it, Paimon is a little hungry. Well, if you insist, then who are we to refuse? <laughs> Right, of course. You're still our customers. Uh, why aren't you eating? The sauce looks a little overpowering. Oh, uh, according to Liyue custom, it's probably good table manners to let someone else go first. <clears throat> looks delicious, traveler. I guess I'll dig in first. Here goes. What is it? Do you need some water? No. It's delicious. The flavor is so pure. It's drenched in sauce, but somehow it just enhances the natural flavor of the seafood. T try it for yourselves. Um, uh, all right. Hmm, <laughs> what is that? Crab roe? Yep, you have quite the palate, Lynette! No wonder it pairs so well with the shrimp meat. I've never seen it prepared this way before. According to the creator, chewy crab, compliment succulent shrimp, making a spectacular seafood ensemble with a succulent flavor and luscious mouthfeel. The crab roe glitters like pearls of gold, and the shrimp shines like chunks of jade. Hence its name, the Palace Jewels. So that's where the name comes from. Huh. I suppose it's quite fitting then. Huh. Was Paimon always this well-spoken? This dish must be right up your alley, Lynette. Huh? I heard that in Liyue, the biggest compliment you can pay to the chef is to leave a clean plate. It's delicious. Thank you ever so much. <laughs>